Brides want their outfits to project their taste and personality. And Koresha Hassim believes in applying Meraki to every nuptial wardrobe that she helps to create. This personal touch has contributed to the success of the bridal boutique that she runs with her family. And she invited Karusha to capture a behind the scenes view of their latest catalogue shoot. It was outside normal business hours, but behind the closed doors, everyone was hard at work preparing garments, accessories, decor, and props for the photo shoot. Karusha didn't want to disturb anyone's concentration, so she made her way quietly to the first floor, where Kiresha was attending to the final details. Hi, Kiresha, how are you? I'm so glad you're here. I can see that I'm catching you straight out of a meeting. Oh, yes, we're just finishing up. We are so excited. We do have a bit of artistic flair when it comes to 2019, and we want to showcase our work. So how did you get into Jasmine's Bridal? I actually married into it. And from a, coming into the shop every weekend, now I'm in the shop every day, it's actually now become my passion. And even though I have a law degree, this is where I am, behind the shop counter and designing dresses. And tell me about your childhood. I'm one of two kids. My dad was one of the older school Durban journalists. My mom was the first Indian woman in the bank. It's conservative upbringing. My mom bought all my clothes and not usually what I wanted. So I would nip and tuck and add a little sparkle, take something away just to revamp the entire outfit. And what would you say is the highlight for you about what it is you do? It's that final put together bride that gives us the greatest pleasure. A bride comes in here, but very often she's insecure, she doesn't know how she's gonna look, and she has expectations. And it's very difficult to meet those expectations. And talk me through what it is you're doing today. Whenever we have to have a new range out there, then we put together our designs, which we predict for the forthcoming season. And we find out the fabrics we want to use, we work with the makeup artists, the florists, the deco people, and we have a meeting of minds and we kind of predict what's going to be in for the next season. And then our range now will have each of those elements incorporated into it. The outfits and accessories are complemented by makeup and hairstyling. Kirusha, this is my niece, Fatima, and she is going to take you through the summer look for 2019. So Fatima, what is your tip for any bride getting married? So for 2019 bridal makeup, it's something more simple and dewy and more clean skin. For what I have here is a softer eyes with a bit of an outer edge of a darker color with lashes and then basically her cheekbones are highlighted with some contour and a soft nude lip. And that just complements the look for 2019. Croatia, this is such a beautiful dress. It's slim lines, very minimal. The focal point will be the frill, big bows, small bows for 2019. But if you're going to go with a bow or a frill, then the rest of the dress should be maybe a bit more on the simple line. Even the fabric needs to be more simple. With this dress, however, it's all about the skirt. With this dress, the cape takes centre stage. So you have drama intricate embellishment. We have beautiful edging at the bottom, but still, it's about the cape. With white being the traditional dress color, is it your favorite? My personal favorite is more ivory. It's softer on the skin. It works with everyone's skin tone. It's warmer, it's richer. Kiresha had assembled an expert team to create the images for the catalogue and the shoot proceeded with a focused efficiency that she applies to everything she does. But the business is just one aspect of her life. Kiresha, I know that you're also a mom. How do you juggle it all? I don't juggle it all. <laughs> I've got three boys, 25, 11 and 4. And some days I get home and I just zone out and depend on Shabir to take control of things. But it's fulfilling. I love my job. It's like a bride getting married every day, but that's my job. Weddings every day. I love that. I think the shoot is almost done. So now the girls are going to get dressed into their ivory and their champagne gown. So while they get changed, I'm going to chat to the photographer. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. As a photographer that does so many weddings, what are your top tips for brides when it comes to their photography? It's very important to have a makeup artist who knows exactly what they're doing and how to look flawless in her images. And lastly, I would say it's the poses. You need to know how to make your subject pose. Ooh, this is stunning. 
As you can see, the gold and the champagne dress, it's an ode to our heritage with our Indian bridal gowns, which were saris originally. It was rich, embellished, ornate. I love that one. And Kirusha, aside from the dresses, decor is an important part of any wedding. So Amy has set up something for us upstairs. Would you like to go and have a look? Great, let's go. Wow, this is beautiful. 2019 is all about flowers. It translates onto our dresses in that we have three-dimensional flowers, we have bows with flowers on them, we have floral appliques. I'm not saying you have to match your decor, but there is a definite symbiosis with the decor and your gown. Beautiful. So Kirisha, of course your work life keeps you very busy, but what do you like to do for fun? I love to travel. These days travel entails a lot of work, but for the most part it's travel. So traveling with my husband, just anywhere. I just want to be in a plane. For a bride and groom, their wedding is a once in a lifetime event. And Kirisha Hassam is passionate about making her contribution to the experience as perfect as is humanly possible, and perhaps even a step beyond.